hello guys how are we doing today welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video i want to believe you're doing good i want to believe you're doing great in this video we're going to be doing an analysis of aud jpy and what to expect from the market this week if you're just coming across our videos you're just coming across our channel i want to say welcome it's good to have you what you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos now let's get straight into the business of this video let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame i can remember the last time we did our analysis on AUD jpy I remember calling our attention to this fact number one two weeks two months ago sorry um aud jpy ended as an inverted pin bar now we've said it that an inverted pin bar is not exactly a bearish reversal candlestick pattern but it shows bearish rejection at the same time letting us know that there are still buyers in the market then last month which was the month of july we could see the activities of both buyers and sellers making the candlestick end as a bearish candle with uh, both um the weeks on the on the upper and lower side long so it has long weeks both on the upper and the lower side then here in the month of august we can see the candlestick is still forming so here we could see bearish rejection here of course we could see con contention among buyers and sellers then let's see the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame last week the market ended as a bullish candle so if we want to combine these three we want to call this a a morning star and let's also see the daily time frame on the daily time frame last week friday ended as a bullish candle but um today being monday the market is ending as a bearish engulfing bar and this is past 10 pm nigerian time that's gmt plus one and um, the market has closed for monday and the candlestick for tuesday has just begun okay then let's see what's happening on the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame we can see the market started selling and when it got here it started buying again and um last year yesterday ended as a bearish arami so what do we expect from the market this week that's what this video is about now let me call our attention to this fact um we could see here that AUD JPY made double top here then started selling so real hard got here and um i think is it three weeks ago i can't recall probably three weeks ago when the market sold down here remember telling us that this happened um at midnight in in nigeria nigerian time that was midnight then it started buying within the day the next day and it bought down here of course many of us were expecting the buy to end here but it sold a bit and continued buying which happened till last week friday now we can see that we are currently at a strong resistance region let's look at the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame you can see okay look here you can see that the market has gotten to the overbought region then also look at the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame you can also see that the market got to the overbought region here and from looking at this from here you can see all of this place you can see bearish rejection you can see long upper weeks so uh, there is strong bearish pressure here even though the market has tried i mean it has been buying from here till it got here and there is strong selling momentum around this region so each time it buys and gets somewhere around here it starts selling and it buys again started selling and that's what has been happening for like the past um 
I think five months so there is strong bearish pressure here then look at the weekly time frame you can see it's clear that the market is having hard time crossing this region so this morning star here I don't believe it's going to count I don't think so I expect the market to start selling from here because um, okay look at the daily time frame on the daily time frame we've seen that we've seen that um, yesterday ended as a bearish engulfing bar and the 10 day simple moving average has just crossed over the candlestick which is a bearish entry trigger then you can see the new candle is forming and look at the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can see that there is um there has been a strong selling pressure from here down here and this is a retracement and the sell has just begun again so expecting the market to sell pretty hard i mean or expecting the market to sell down for a long time of course considering the fact that the weekly time frame okay the weekly time frame got to the overbought region here and here it got pretty close but i still like to consider it overbought and the monthly time frame also got to the overbought region considering this fact i believe aud jpy is going to sell for a long time or let's say for quite a long distance it's not going to be a brief sell it's not going to be a brief sell. It's going to sell it could sell for a long time it could sell for a long distance you know the difference between that selling for a long time could be selling for um three five six months or one year that selling for a long distance could be like selling from where it is still maybe somewhere here that could happen within a month or even two weeks depending on the selling pressure so i'm actually expecting AUD JPY to sell um for a long distance it may not actually come to this re uh, to this region i don't want to exaggerate but i know it's going to sell quite hard so our first tp will be here let me mark this point or this region this will be our tp1 which is the next um support region of course we can see the market tested that region before so that is going to be our tp1 and our tp2 this will be our tp2 now tp2 could take quite a while if you're not um, good with holding trades for long you may not want to take tp2 for now you would take just tp1 tp1 could be achieved this week i expect tp1 to be achieved this week tp2 could take into next week depending on the the pressure or selling pressure in the market so that's how far we're expecting the market to go um this is going to happen and of course there are chances that it's going to sell be beyond that region if you can look at it on the monthly time frame you can see that that's not that's not quite far considering that on the monthly time frame the market has gotten to the overbought region and the sell is on the, if we're looking at the monthly time frame we could say the sell is yet to start so it's likely to sell for quite a significant period of time it could sell to somewhere here but we're not going to target too far for now this is how far we're going to target and we're going to allow the market to play out and show us what to follow or what next to do so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any questions you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you if you want to register for a complete forex training check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can register for a complete forex training and if you want to subscribe for our signal service check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without yes check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed we'll have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now